Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 26th of 2024 is titled Facing NGC 6946. So what do we see here? Well, this is a spiral galaxy known by its catalog designation of NGC 6946. And it is a galaxy that we see face on. Now, how we happen to see galaxies just depends on their orientation relative to Earth. Unlike other uh, sciences here on Earth, where you can explore things directly and maybe look at things from all different angles, you don't get that option in astronomy. Things that are positioned a certain way is the way they will always be positioned to us. So we will never be able to see them from a different perspective. So we can't to say walk around this galaxy and see it from all directions. We're stuck with the view that we happen to have. Now the good thing is there's lots of galaxies out there so we can see spiral galaxies in all different orientations and we can use that to build up a general model of what spiral galaxies look like. But to see any one spiral galaxy we only get one type of view. And in this case, it's face on. That means we're looking almost directly down on the galaxy. And we can see the central core there at the center, which will contain a supermassive black hole. And we will also see the spiral arm swirling out from that central region. Now that could be similar to what our galaxy could look like to a distant observer. And we would see something very similar to this. Now, this is an interesting galaxy in that it is very rich in gas and dust and it has a higher star formation rate than usual, which means it also has a higher death rate because the stars form and they don't last all that long. In fact, in the last 100 years or so, there have been 10 supernovae visible in this galaxy. So that's a rather large number for any individual galaxy. And that is typically the death of a massive star as a supernova. So when these stars form, those massive stars don't live a long time and they quickly explode as a supernova. Their lives may be measured in just a million years or two million years. So it's very, very short compared to, say, the age of our sun, which is five billion years old. So it gives us a way to study this galaxy and to consider how the star formation rates. Why is the star formation rate higher here? That often happens with interaction. So has this had an interaction with another galaxy in the past? And that could sometimes encourage the star formation. Now we see that star formation as the blue and red colors within those spiral arms. The blue colors are the hot star clusters that have formed formed mainly of very hot blue stars and give a distinct blue color to the spiral arms. The others, the reddish color, is caused by the emission of hydrogen gas. So when hydrogen gas is excited by hot stars, it will then give off a very distinct red or pinkish color that we see here. So both of those are signs of star formation and are very prominent and in fact very strong in this galaxy. Now the other interesting thing is this is a relatively small spiral galaxy less than half the size of our own Milky Way. So even though it has all that star formation it's a much smaller galaxy than the one in which we live. So that was our picture of the day for July 26th of 2024. It was titled Facing NGC 6946. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.